What's going on YouTube? I'm going to do a quick how-to video how to paint your aquariums. So first thing you want to do, this is kind of an extra step. Um, obviously you want to clean your glass. I've started painting that bottom panel. So here I have a 55 gallon aquarium upside down. Um, I've heard this from other people and I've done it. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I'll use this alcohol here and I'll wipe down the glass where I'm going to be painting. Um, what that is going to do is help you further clean the glass and remove any fingerprints. Because if you have fingerprints on the aquarium, whenever you paint over that, it's going to be sealed in there. So you want to go ahead and clean that out. So once you wipe that down, I'll wipe it down again with just a, a dry paper towel to remove, uh, make sure it's fully dried. Then you're going to want to get a paintbrush and go around the seams of the tank. So I've done that on this one side here. So simply just getting the brush. You'll see the more times you go past it, the more streak you'll get. So doing one solid pass is sometimes better than going over it multiple times. Um, and in these little nooks and crannies here, you can also go press the brush down and kind of push it into those grooves. And that's gonna allow for many light, especially on the back of the aquarium, where you'll have this top lip. Um, that's gonna remove any of the light from shining through and you're gonna see through the paint. So going along the aquarium, this brush needs a little bit more paint, kind of push in. Just go right down there. That's me a clean trip. I don't want to do too many examples of how it can be bad. See how it's getting thin there? I need more paint on my brush. So you want it to be thick enough that you don't get those streaks, but you also want it to be too thick where it takes forever to dry. So you're going to do that around the frame of the tank. And then next, I'm going to use my roller here. So the finer the roller, the better. I'm going to use a small one here. It's not too big. But this sponge here is very fine. It's almost... The brush is almost like a sponge, I guess you'd say. This one's not, but I've used the sponges. They work, they work good as well. Um, what you want to do, you want to paint straight lines and streaks. So I'll go from left to right. You want to go front to back of the aquarium, let it dry. And then your second coat, you want to go long ways, left to right. Um, that's going to vent any of the streaks from shutting through and really give you a nice thick background. So it's really as simple as that. So you want to paint around your seams. Uh, if you're not using black, you want to do some painter's tape, especially for the back of the aquarium. Um, this is a wall tank. It's going to go bare bottom, so I'm only painting the bottom. So this will be a real quick, easy paint. But I figure I'll do a quick uh, before and after and kind of just make it real simple. Uh, most importantly, I want to forget this. The type of paint you want to use is Rust-Oleum paint. Um, so this works well on glass. I'm using a glossy black. So you can see that paint there. All you'll need is... A paintbrush, a roller, the alcohol cleaner if you if you have it, that's kind of extra, and your Rust-Oleum paint. Um, I guess you could say painter's tape as well. So five things: you need a brush, roller, paint, cleaner, and tape. So if you have those five things, it's pretty simple. Um, after that, it's really just your time waiting for it to dry and cure, and then you're ready to go. Alright guys, so I got my first coat down. Um, I went front to back using my roller there after I finished going around the edges. Um, a good tip for whenever you're going around the edges, um, you can get a flashlight and go from underneath the tank. It'll really show you any bald spots. And then I did my seams just going right down it. But after that, I actually took the brush on the edge and I went back and I pushed it into those seams. Especially because this bottom brace is going to be black in the aquarium. So you'll see that. That's why I like doing a black bottom with the black brace. Uh, it's just going to make it look clean. I'm not doing any color for a certain reason. Um, I've done white on tanks, even though a lot of people do blues and blacks. You can see some of these spots are a little bit thinner. So that's where the second coat going left to right is really going to fill in all those spots there. So hopefully it's helpful. Um, I got some fans running here. There's a little fan over there running on this tank. Uh, I plan on finishing this night if possible. If I'm going to wait an hour or two, I got two fans running on this tank. It'll dry a lot faster. So go around, push it in those seams. Um, go down, push it in the seams. Roll it up and down. Um, do, do a good amount of paint on that brush. Uh, every two to three strips, I'm getting more paint on it. Um, and I barely put a dent in my can. So go ahead and do that. I'll come back in an hour, I'll do my second coat. And I'll show you guys the final product whenever it's all on the tank and ready to go. But this is basically a how-to for the basics, the first two minutes covered. You get your paint and all your supplies and you're ready to go. All right guys, I've waited about two hours. I did my second coat. 
Um, the paint was a little bit tacky, but touching it, I, my my finger wasn't getting wet, so it was dry enough. Um, brushed it a little bit, but it still worked really well. So I just did the second coat going left to right, and I brought my flashlight up for this one. So from up above, it's always going to look pretty good, even with one coat. Uh, the test is you want to go underneath the aquarium, shine the light up, and see the corner there, you can see a little bit of light through it. Same with that seam. The rest of the tank's pretty good on the left side. See the right side if we can see anything. So, maybe that corner needs a little bit. But another thing I'll add to my benefit is this is the bottom of the aquarium. So there's no light shining through. I mean, one coat probably would've been enough to do it, but I just wanted it to look nice. Because once this tank's filled, I'm not doing this again. So two coats looks really good. If I was doing it on the back, I'd probably wait till morning, let it dry really well, and do a third coat. And that's if I was being really picky. Um, Cause that's where light's gonna be behind it. If it's in front of a window or something, absolutely you're gonna do that third coat. Uh, and you could even go corner to corner, do another angle on it uh, to really help yourself out. But this is my how-to video. Um, if you kept watching the entire video, really just showing the process, but those first two minutes really gets it all the way and kind of tells you what you really need to do. So thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this kind of simplifies it. And I know there's videos on doing this, but sometimes it just takes too long. Uh, you guys know how to paint. I know how to paint. You don't need to watch me paint this tank back and forth with the brush. Try to give some pointers along the way. But um, thank you guys. If you like this video, please like it. Uh, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thank you.